diaphragm repair on a Hypro D403 pump. The tools you will need are a 6mm socket, 13mm socket and a pick. This video shows you how to replace the diaphragm in your Hypro D403 diaphragm pump. Before disassembling the pump, mark the head so you know which head goes where. Next, you will drain the oil from the crankcase. You can use the drain plug or take one of the heads off and drain through there. Since it is faster to drain through the head, we will show you that method. Use a 6mm socket and remove the head bolts. You will notice four of the bolts are the same size and there's a fifth longer bolt that holds on the valve cover. Use a 13 mm socket to remove the diaphragm bolt. You will remove both the bolt and the washer. Please note, when you put this back together, the beveled side of the washer will be facing out. If it is facing in, it may easily slice the diaphragm. Next, use a pick to remove the diaphragm. Now rotate the crankshaft by hand to push the piston sleeve out. Once it's accessible, use a pick to pop out the sleeve and then turn the pump over to drain the oil. Spray brake cleaner to remove all chemical residue and debris out of the crankcase. This also helps it dry faster. Repeat these steps for all three pump heads and spray all orifices again with brake cleaner, including the piston sleeves. When reinstalling the piston sleeve, you will notice a bevel on the sleeve, so it can only go in one way. The hole should be at 12 and 6, and there's a piston ring that you have to get past, which sometimes can get in the way. Install the new diaphragm onto the piston. There's a part number and logo stamped on the diaphragm and this should be facing outward or towards you.
Put the washer and bolt back on, making sure that the washer has the beveled side facing out so it does not tear the diaphragm. When tightening the diaphragm bolt, do not use an impact wrench. Use a 13 millimeter socket to tighten the bolt back onto the piston and tighten until the wrench stops, but do not over tighten or force it. Repeat this on all three diaphragms. Put the O-rings and valves back onto the pump head and tighten the bolts to reattach the pump head back to the body. Make sure the O-rings are lined up appropriately and check that the valves are in the right direction to prevent any issues. Install the left and right heads first before putting the top head back on. Before putting the sleeve back in on the top of the pump, fill it to the top of the ring and turn the crankshaft by hand slowly to pump out any air bubbles. Put the final sleeve, diaphragm, bolt, washer and head back onto the pump.
Then remove the cap from the sight glass, making sure not to lose the O-ring. And fill to just between the low and high level line on the glass. It is very important to be able to see the oil in this glass during operation to alert you to any diaphragm ruptures. Then put the cap back on the glass. 